Hi there, Caffeine and Pixie Dust. I've met a lot of really cool people today and it'd be great if you could stop by too. And remember, keep aiming higher, further, faster. Hope to see you around. Judy calls. Hello and welcome back to Caffeine and Pixie Dust, where you'll find plenty of videos full of all the hints and tips you will need to plan your practically perfect Disneyland Paris holiday, all the latest Disney news and updates, and of course plenty of Disneyland Paris trip vlogs and the resulting hauls because we do love our Disney merch here at Caffeine and Pixie Dust. Now, as you'll have seen from the video thumbnail, today's video is a trip announcement video. We are heading back to Disneyland Paris and I absolutely cannot wait. And the great news is we don't actually have too long to wait at all because we're heading over in just under three weeks, which is really soon, so I really do need to get organized. But I wanted to just quickly jump on here, let you know all about the trip, all about the adventures we have planned, because there's going to be an awful lot of fun going on at Disneyland Paris while we're there. We're there for two nights, three days, but oh my goodness, I don't think I've ever seen so much Disney fun crammed into one weekend than what we're going to experience. So I'm gonna be taking along this beautiful little camera with me and vlogging the whole thing. So if you haven't done so already, please do make sure you hit that subscribe button and swipe the alert bell so you don't miss a thing because there's a lot going on. So yes, in just a few short weeks, we're gonna be heading back to Disneyland Paris with our Disney Lads crew, hashtag Disney Lads. Now just to remind you, our Disney Lads crew is made up of Amy, Kat, Rhea and myself. This is our third trip to Disneyland Paris together and I just cannot wait. We have so much fun when we're in the parks together. We always really maximize our time. We run around getting up to all sorts of mischief and it's just a really fun way to experience the park. Now we have been for the Halloween season and the Christmas season and now we're going for the Lion King and the Jungle Festival which I'm really, really excited about. There's been so much online and obviously I was there for the announcements at the Inside Ears event but I've resisted watching too much because I want to experience it kind of fresh with my own eyes so I just cannot wait. But what I will do is I'll link below in the show notes to our previous trips so if you want to have a look at sort of Disneyland Paris during Christmas season or Halloween season it might be useful and also it'll give you a kind of taster about the trip vlogs that are coming up because we're going to be vlogging the whole thing and getting up to all sorts of fun which I just cannot wait for. Now when we booked our trip we have booked um, two nights, three days. We will be arriving on Friday the 13th September. We knew that we were going to be arriving for the Lion King and the Jungle Festival. And when the um, Lion King signature experience was announced, we knew that we wanted to definitely take advantage of that because there are loads and loads of benefits that come with this package. I will glance down every so often, please forgive me, because I've taken notes on all the benefits you get. Because if you are thinking about this, there is still time to add on if you're visiting before the 20th September, because that's when the experience is running up until. Um, but no, these are the benefits that we really wanted to take advantage of. First of all, you get VIP seats for the Lion King Rhythms of the Prideland show. This show looks amazing. The reviews are fantastic and I just cannot wait to see this. However, what I would say is if you haven't got the signature experience, don't worry, you can still go and see the show, but I've heard that you might have to queue for quite a long time because it's a really, really popular one. So please do bear that in mind. We also get a drumming session. I will try my very best. I haven't done drumming before, but I'm looking forward to that. We also get a private meet and greet with Minnie in her Jungle Jive outfit. She looks so cute, she just looks adorable. I can't wait to go and see her. And then we get lunch with Rafiki and Mickey at restaurant Hakuna Matata. Now the food looks amazing. I've seen snaps online. It just looks stunning, it looks really, really different and I can't wait to experience all these kind of different types of food. And I also think it's really good because they've got vegan options on the menu as well. I think from the whole menu, I'm looking forward to the green ice cream though. That looks really, really cool. And then also we get a special souvenir cup. We know how much I love my Disney cups. And then we get a gift card for 15 euros each, which I'm probably gonna spend on some ears, uh, or maybe another mug, because yeah, I do love my Disney mugs. So there's an awful lot of benefits that you get as part of this package, and we thought it worked out as a really good kind of value. So yes, I'm looking forward to experiencing the Lion King and the Jungle Festival, and then also this extra layer that the signature experience adds on, so I can't wait. So already we've got plenty planned, we've got our VIP seats for the show already booked, we've got our lunch with Mickey and Rafiki already booked, we need to go and catch the Jungle Jive show at least once, three, four, five, as many times as possible because that looks amazing from what I've seen. And then they announced something else, something absolutely amazing, which is the 100 character soiree night. This just looks fantastic. Now I've not been to a soiree before. I've always sort of watched on, followed along people's stories on Instagram and on YouTube. The soirees look amazing, but I've never been able to make one. 
However, this is actually on while we're there and it looks fantastic. 100 characters, the park's going to be open from 10pm till 3am. I'm just really, really excited to actually be in the park that late to kind of experience it all. Also, I'm looking forward to finding out, you know, who these 100 characters are going to be, what the system's going to be like, because I think they're using a new meet and greet system. I really can't wait to find out more information. But yes, it all seemed to fall into place. First, the date was announced that we were actually there already. And then I happened to be at Disneyland Paris when the tickets went on sale as well. So we got our tickets, we're all set, we're all ready. And I've got my bound for the night ready. Who do you think it could be? Who do you think it could possibly be? Comments below if you can guess who I'm bounding as. But no, I can't wait. The only thing I'm not too sure about is extra magic time the next day. So if I'm up till 3 a.m., what do we think the chances are that I'm gonna make extra magic time? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna give it my best because as we know, when I'm at Disney, I don't sleep, I just Disney. However, it might be a kind of baseball cap pull down situation. I'll give it my best, but no, I just can't wait. I'm really excited. So as you can see, between experiencing all that the Lion King and the Jungle Festival has to offer, the Lion King signature experience, the 100 character soiree, it's gonna be a jam-packed, fun-filled Disney weekend. And I just cannot wait. And I cannot wait to take you guys with me. I best make sure I have plenty of batteries and SD cards because, oh my goodness, there's so much going on and I want to vlog it all. So we've got it all to remember and to look back on and of course to share with you guys. Now what I'm gonna do now is just whistle through my wish list because I've put together a wish list of all the things I want to kind of experience, see, purchase, eat, all that type of stuff. Not as a kind of this is what we are going to do, but just as a kind of rough idea so that I can hit as many of these things as possible and really make the most of our time there. Now the first thing on my list is to do with food. I want to try as many of the Lion King snacks as possible. You might have seen these on my Instagram. They look amazing. So I really want to try as many of those and I'll try and sort of vlog my responses to them as well, do a little mini review like I did for my Halloween snacks one because I really enjoyed doing that. Um, next up, it just says thoroughly enjoy the 100 character soiree. As I've said, this is my first soiree at Disneyland Paris. It's a nice late soiree going on until 3 a.m. and 100 characters to squeeze in. I just can't wait. I should be taking loads of photos and just scampering around, meeting as many characters as possible and just soaking up the atmosphere. I'm really excited about that. Obviously meet Donald because I always have to meet Donald at least once, sometimes three times on a trip. Um, now shopping wise, I do have a bit of an ear wish. I hope to track down if they're still there, the Briar Rose ears. They are really, really pretty. They're kind of rose gold glittery ears and then they have um, a kind of sequin or sparkly bow, but they look really, really beautiful. So I'm gonna try and track those ones down. Also, there's a Lion King and the Jungle um, Festival mug I really like, holding up imaginary mug. It's white with the logo, so I really want to track that one down. Also, there is a piece of Disney merch that is the one that got away for me and it was from a couple of years ago and it was the Christmas wreath. You might have heard me talking about it in the hall if you've seen it. It's kind of like a um, faux holly wreath made up like a Mickey head and it's really, really cute. So although we're not even into autumn yet, if I see it, I may well try and get that because I'd love to have that to bring a bit of Disney magic home. But otherwise, I think that's it. My wish list isn't massive, but I didn't want to kind of set my goals too high because we're going to be running around fitting in all this fun already. Now, although I've tried my best to avoid spoilers of the shows and everything, if you have been to Disneyland Paris and experienced the Lion King and the Jungle Festival, please do drop below in the comments any hints and tips that you've got that might help viewers and myself who are going to experience the festival, such as the best place to stand during the show, to see Donald, of course, all that type of stuff. If you have been, please do share your experiences, your comments below, because that would be really, really useful. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. I can't wait to take you guys with with us on our adventures so yes do please follow along on instagram and of course subscribe here and we will hopefully see you there if you are in the parks please do come up and say hello because it's always lovely to meet you guys but until next time if you've enjoyed this video please do leave me a lion king of course thumbs up share comment subscribe all those wonderful things and i'll see you real soon take care